everybody to Lardang Kundalini and I have the honor of introducing you to my dear sister Constance. Constance brought me to yoga three decades ago and when I saw her eyes after her own personal yoga practice that she took visiting me in New York City I picked her up I was three months pregnant and I saw those eyes and I went, I'll take what you've got <laughs> right now. And I haven't stopped doing yoga since. And it's such a, it's such a beautiful, graceful awakening, this Kundalini Yoga, because it brings me, to my surprise, Constance, who, who showed up in my class yesterday as a surprise with my own mother, our own mother, <laughs> which was like, what? I actually thought when I was walking in class <laughs> that it was in my dream state still. I said, this is not true. So welcome to Thank Light on you. Kundalini. Thank you for having me, Karuna. Yeah. I'm honored. Yeah. I'm honored to talk about Kundalini Yoga because it has had such a profound effect on my life. If for nothing else you do Kundalini Yoga, it stabilizes your nervous system, your parasympathetic nervous system so that you can go through life non-reactive and confident and, and, and not plugging into changes throughout your day, but actually just being in a flow. And for that reason, I do Kundalini Yoga, just to stabilize the nervous system because we're all in such a fight or flight and the cortisol levels are so high that we're reacting all the time and so to have a tool that is so profoundly your own and experiential because it's for you and it's only for you the tool that it affects your life greatly I remember when you were gifted the teacher training and I said thank you God <laughs> there's a miracle right there Carrie Ann <laughs> but you know, I know, so generous. And Stephen. So, yeah, she's thanking them. <laughs> you gotta thank your people. <laughs> By the way, thank you. you know, I love my sis. She, um, she gave me courage and um, to be in her household when I was little and she was little. <laughs> but she was a little older. So, you know. You got to bow. She taught me actually how to listen to exactly what it was that I needed to hear because I was a different character. Mm -hmm. And she was the oldest sister of six of us. And, you know, she had a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. And then when she speaks about her soul and, you know, her tool, you know, it started early on finding her voice, your voice, mm -hmm. right? And didn't... Didn't that in itself, that mantra, that meditation, and everything that you learned and have experienced through Kundalini, isn't it a little different than what you do in your own profession as a Pilates oh, yeah. master? Of course. I mean, all fitness modalities weave into each other and complement each other. And I started out with Hatha Yoga and the physical yogas, and they're all so great. Ashtanga, Hatha, all of them, Vinyasana flow. But Kundalini is a choice. That's kind of like your top of the line because it's you and your body and do I want to change my story? Am I happy with my story, the way I'm living my life? Or do I want to change my story and make it my own? Do I want to drop maybe certain things that I've been imprinted with? Mm -hmm. You know, childhood stuff. 
responsibilities of the family of all of right. us. Right. I mean, we all take on many layers of, you know, our family members. And it's a process to drop each layer and find your own truth. So this is what I've been proud of. And she's not just learned this through <laughs> Kundalini. This is her channel as well. Uh, so you know you. it's always been thank about you. the truth. Yes, always. And it was and it was a profound, you know, awakening to I always say to the women who have had children are and who are becoming empty nesters that it's so paramount to have a yoga practice. Mm -hmm. It's so paramount to study Kundalini Yoga because as we, if we don't go to the media and dialogue with the media around, I'm aging, oh my God, I'm an empty nester, <laughs> you know, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. If we don't go there, we mm -hmm. can easily, as I did, easily go there. Yeah. Because that's what the media is feeding us. But if we go, if we come from knowledge, wisdom, and grace of meditation, of sitting still, of breathing, of pulling in the witness, using the tool as you stated, to say, oh my God, this is the start of a brand new life. Right, right. And it is beauty yoga. I mean, you're breathing through your nose <laughs> and most of us don't breathe unless we actually go to a class. Where's your nose? And my nose is right here. <laughs> anyway, I did it for selfish reasons because I wanted to age gracefully and look beautiful, radiant, and, what, that's and not be selfish. the most. No, but not through, you know, easy access. You don't want to go to not Botox, through needles, <laughs> needles, Botox, all those things that people are telling you through that message that you're not pretty. Well, you are pretty. We're all individually gorgeous but it's finding your own truth, and this is a good way and tool. And you're an awesome teacher. Thank you. I mean, you are Thank an incredible you. teacher. Thank you. Because I feel like she imparts the information without any of her own, you know, person involved. It's channeled. And you know when you're speaking from your truth, you hear somebody, and you want to change because you don't feel their story in it. So it's nice to have people out there and teachers out there that mm. are mm. taking us to our own inner wisdom and God and authenticity, mainly that word, authenticity. You know, it's such a, it's really a truth to um, receive you in class. Mm -hmm. It's a truth and it's so humbling to have people like yourself of such a high caliber mm -hmm. come and choose to come to this class mm -hmm. and it's an honor I mean it, it's you. not a you know it's, it's a, such a, yeah. a nondescript yoga studio you don't even you know you know it's, wood, it's a wood floor yeah. but everything else is God in there yeah so there's no fancy nothing to pull you in yeah. to sell you anything no. it's just you you and you yeah. and the teachings right well, experiential, going to somebody who allows you to find your own experience is the way to the ticket to freedom. Mm -hmm. It's not a, you know, just going and sweating and then you have a quick fix and you feel good for an hour. This is a lifelong journey if you want to change your story. And I certainly wanted to change my story. I wanted to make it my own wanted to be free and live life amazing and free and wow that's the that's the message yeah and you're a great you. teacher of the message thank you so you're welcome that's so beautiful and folks it took a lot of years to be able to say that this is a sibling <laughs> okay this is like a lot of sibling stuff and we work through it. You can cut there if you want. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm.